morning everybody it's another beautiful day here in taiwan it's actually raining but it actually feels really refreshing the sky is just a little bit gloomy and i don't like that too much but it's fine today i am going to be checking out fu han doujiang this is a mission star breakfast spot in taiwan and it is known to be the brex bre best breakfast spot and let me tell you the line is absolutely massive right now it's a two hour wait and this line stretches across the entire building so this better be worth it but let me go show you all the line so i don't even know if there's a line in there but see all across the building there's so many people oh my goodness this place better be pretty good mission star rated I mean, I guess everybody knows about it too, so I trust. But there's a lot of people here. I, I, I do hope that it is pretty good. I do trust that it's going to be really delicious. Yeah, but seriously, the, the line is freaking enormous. There's people eating in line just because <laughs> they're hungry, waiting for the food. It's funny. Wow, it goes past the building too. You got to go past that building all the way across this building. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's all the way down over there. Wow, and it stretches across? And they like, oh my God, and even more people are waiting in line over there. Oh my God, that's crazy. We're gonna be here in line. We're gonna be here a little bit. I'm gonna find some ways to entertain myself, but I'm really excited. I'm actually really excited. This place opens up at 5.30 a.m. and closes at noon. And it's about seven o'clock right now, so people wake up very early to line up for this. I'm following suit with the other people. I'm gonna eat some food first because I'm so hungry. Um, by the way, all the 7-Elevens here, you can get these delicious tea eggs. <laughs> I can't crack it. Ah! Oh my God, I just... <laughs> okay, I, I broke it so badly. We don't, like, we don't need to talk about this. But I love tea eggs because it soaks up the flavor. They like have this huge pot of eggs and it has a broth and that's the way they put all the eggs. Ooh. Okay. I know I, I messed it up, but it's fine. Mm. I don't know, I really like eating eggs. Eggs are so good. Mm. It's not as salty though. Usually it's a little bit saltier, but it's pretty good. Ah, I love tea. 40 minutes into waiting, it's actually not too bad. I already circled all around the building and this is just the uh, line that we gotta finish. So they honestly cook very fast. A lot of the uh, Taiwanese like restaurants, it's kind of like fast food style. So they make the food extremely fast. It's really just up to the people how fast they eat. But Taiwan culture or Asian culture in general isn't like, in America, you know, you sit down somewhere and then you chat and then you like kind of leisurely sit there for a long time. Um, we, uh, Taiwan really likes to just eat and then go. So I guess that's why another reason why it's moving really fast. So I'm super excited. I can't wait to try out this food. We just arrived. Look at this. We're inside the building. This is apparently in a food court. So I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I can't So wait. here it is, the Huashang Market Food Court. That's where they're making all the breakfast that everybody's lining up for. Oh my god, I can't wait to go see them make it do it. This is where they're making like shelving, which is like kind of like a Taiwanese... How do I say it? Like a sandwich bread? Because those breads are used to make like these um, sandwiches. This is the menu, stuff like that. And it tastes so good. It's really sesame flavor. And oh look, look, it's a clay pot of this. That's so cool. Right, they sell soy milk and the fried buns that I love. They also have the egg omelets. I love those egg omelets. They're so good. Making a fresh batch right here. Just taking it out, out of that pie and then this is all the fresh bread. And then they're rowing the dough back there. Oh, everything's so freshly made. I love it. That's so cool. Wow. Doing it like cafeteria style. They're gonna make it right in front of you. That's the salty eggs. Ooh, that's the salty soy milk. That looks good. Yeah. Wow. Some green onions. 
谢谢。那我还要多点吗？在前面点，多点好。然后等一下，还有那个一个。好，谢谢。可以拿了。Here is the spread. This is a classic. This is salty soy milk. We got sweet soy milk. We got some of the pastries here: egg pancake, the、uh, fried Chinese donut, and a fried Chinese donut sandwich with egg. Can't wait to try this out. We also got some rice rolls right here. Let's first try out this sandwich. This is like the classic. Oh, it's, it's a little bit sticky on the top, so maybe it's sweet. It's got the Chinese donut and some eggs.、Mm. Definitely drink some soy milk. I think maybe since that bread is so doughy, it tastes better like this. I also ordered one without the big yolk, y'all. So let's take a bite. Okay, I think this was a lot better. There's also a little bit of soy sauce、um, and chili oil. That's common. Put some of that on there. Oh. Mark. It's a spicy paste. That is so good. Now let's try out the、uh, egg pancakes. My mom actually makes these for me in the morning. It's very simple. It's just the、uh, very thin scallion pancakes with some egg.
reminds me of the Taiwan tofu pudding with seaweed instead. Mm. This one, freshly made Chinese donut is so good. But not least, I got this caramel like bread. It's not too sweet. Asian people don't like eating too sweet stuff. So it's just a very light, light caramelization right here. Mm. It just tastes like fried sweet bread. Not too heavy. I like it. Also, all of this only costs $15 USD. It's actually really, really cheap. I love flaky pastries, so I love it. I am so obsessed with these. If you've never had a Chinese donut, it's not sweet or savory, but it's just so crispy and I love it. Mmm. Mm, so good. I think just the classic, the Chinese donut and the soy milk were my favorite things. I also really like this last caramel sweet pastry. But overall, it was pretty good. I think overall, I give it a rating of like... 7.5 out of 10. But I don't think I would ever wait in line for it again for two hours. But it was definitely worth it to try. So, like I said earlier, I don't think I would wait in line for it again, but it was definitely cool to try out a Michelin star breakfast because I've never tried out, tried this place in Taiwan before. So that's pretty cool, but there is still a massive, massive line of people waiting for this breakfast. Look, the line is still out the building. I think that's crazy. But yeah, like I said, it's it's worth experiencing, but there is a lot of like local Taiwanese breakfast spots in Taiwan that are pretty much just as good. I was very let down with the uh, sandwich. It, the bread, the, the one that came out of the tandoori oven, it's a little bit dry. It's a little bit dry, but it's definitely worth visiting, but I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't line up here again. So that was my experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. The best breakfast in Taiwan has a massive two-hour wait line. This line wraps around the entire building, even across to the other block as well. This is the Michelin star rated Fuhan Doujiang that's located in the Zhongzhen district at, that's open from 5.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. When you finally get in, I got in after about two hours or so, you can see them freshly making the bread and there is clear pictures to show, indicate what kind of food that they have. The average menu item is only 20 yuan which is about one dollar usd so it is very cheap and affordable as well and when you get to the line you just tell the lady what you like and it's prepared extremely fast it has a fast food style this is a salty soy milk and i would definitely recommend trying this because it is one of taiwanese specialty dishes i will say i'm a little bit disappointed in that because the bread was a little bit dry but the egg omelet pancake was super delicious and i really enjoy the soy milk as well as the rice roll would i come try this place again probably not because the weight was not worth it but it was a good experience, but definitely. So I'm gonna teach you how to blow an egg. I got some tea eggs here. You wanna crack the top, crack the bottom, and then on like the fatter bottom portion, you're going to make a little hole. And the top, this is the hole for blowing. Let me peel off a little bit. Supposedly, you crack an egg open really easily like this, and then you blow. I caught it, I caught it. <laughs> the egg is saved and these are so good. Mm. Mm. <coughs> 7 Elevens in Taiwan, they always have these tea eggs and I love tea eggs so freaking much. All right guys, let's try my eggs. Oh my god, this is hot. Ooh. 
Mmm, smells so good. I like the eggs that have been simmering for a long time too because it really gets up that sauce that has been simmering in. Oh, it's kind of easy to peel too. It's not too hard. That's good. It's honestly not simmered as long as I like to be. It's not that flavorful because I think this is fresh. You see, it pretty much looks like a boiled egg, but still very delicious. Mm. How to use the train station in Taiwan. This public transportation in Taiwan is absolutely incredible. It's so well organized and very easy to use. At the ticketing booth, it has many different language options and it has the whole map of Taiwan so you can easily figure out where you're going. I actually would recommend you getting a card that you can get at the information booth. The information booth I went to spoke English so it's very easy. This card can be refilled at any train station and when you scan it to enter it, you can also see how much money you have left so you know that next time if you need to add in more money. And then also it is so convenient because there are a lot of indicators. It's very hard to get laws. You just have to pay attention to the the signs um, so the signs of the train will also fade out where stops it already has been so you won't get confused and then there's also like a little um, indicator that shows where the next stop is and then to exit you just scan the card again and again it will show you how much money you have left also the short trips are only one dollars USD so definitely save this video for next time you visit Taiwan because I'm going to show you